Hello everyone. Welcome to another TPM 4 Minute Friday. Today we're going to be covering Bluebeam Review, a special tool there. My name is Brody Whitlock. I'm an AEC technical specialist here and hope you enjoy the 4 Minute Friday. Um, as I said, Bluebeam Review has many tools. Um, I've said that before in some of my other presentations. And today we're going to learn how to save time with the dynamic fill tool. So before we get started, one thing I like to say is if you're going to do anything with measurements in Bluebeam, make sure to go ahead and calibrate your drawings. So we're going to do that here. I'm going to pick a spot with a measurement or something known. Um, I'm going to see and see it's now saying 30 feet. We're going to change that to 20 foot 8. Once we change this and hit OK, it's going to get our drawing to scale for us. So anything we do measurements wise should be to scale with the page. Now, traditionally, you would use just a standard area tool to measure things, but it does become a little bit troublesome when you have spaces that are rounded, such as this pool. So as I go around the edge, you're going to see me trying to get a little bit close to these spaces. And as you can see, there are some issues with that. You do not have that option of making that curve. And so the dynamic fill tool, which you'll see a little bit later, is going to make life a lot easier. So I'm just going to finish this up clicking different points. Obviously you could spend time just clicking in small increments to make it closer, but for the sake of this example, I'm just gonna do it this way. Um, we're gonna go ahead and hit enter, and as you can see, it gives us the square footage of about 2,584 feet, square feet. Zoom in on that. You can kind of see around where the areas are missing and not touching that black line. So now we're gonna use the dynamic fill tool. It's gonna be in, obviously in your tools, um, there is a keystroke for it as J. You can also pin it if you like. It brings up this little options bar here. As you can see, there are other options next to area measurement, such as uh, area boundary measurements. But we're going to go ahead and just deal with an area measurement. I'm going to change the color to pink here. As you can see, you can change your fill speed. You can change your edge sensitivity. You can also look at your fill size and boundary size. So we're going to keep that guy high and we're going to get started. We're going to click the little bucket and click fill and it's almost like you're leaving your pen on a piece of paper and it bleeds. It's going to find those boundaries inside of that pool giving us a more accurate area measurement. And so I'm going to hit apply and now you can see that it's giving us a 2,606 square footage um, compared to the 2,584. I'm going to zoom in. I'm actually going to change this color to green so you can kind of see where this is more accurate, obviously, than what I did earlier with trying to pick points. It gives me the edges as we saw before we even started the area tool. Now I'm going to show you an example of something where if you don't have the boundary lines like we did in this pool, we're going to look at this area here. And actually the nice thing about the dynamic fill tool is you get the option to create boundaries. So I'm going to do that. So next to the fill bucket, it says create boundary. We're going to draw these lines. I think I'm going to have to draw three here. And now that I've done that, we're going to click the fill tool after those boundaries are placed and do the same thing we did with the pool. As you can see, you can do poly length as well. So I'm going to fill that guy in and it's going to give us a measurement after you hit apply those boundary lines go away and you see that it is 30, 397. Now you can change just like you can do with any other, other markups. You can change your line weight, your opacity. If you have a fill there, you can add a hatch, etc. So it is very customizable to your company or to whatever you're trying to do, um, just like anything else, but this does make everything easier. So thank you for watching uh, 4 Minute Friday. You can check us out on tpm.com as well as subscribe to our YouTube channel, which is TPM Solutions. Thank you.